What's up everyone? We're back on the Xbox One Home right now and we're in the, the beta for the March 4th system update. If you weren't aware in March there's going to be a system update that's going to drastically improve matchmaking for the Xbox One. It's going to improve the uh, party system. It's going to improve uh, your friends and all that thing. Um, it, it's it's just going to make uh, party matchmaking and, and, and things like that a lot better um, for when Titanfall gets here. Because it's supposed to be you know, Xbox One's uh, biggest game right now. So um, I'm in the beta. So I figured I would do a video kind of walking you through the system update for it. Which I think I don't have like everything like in here yet. Like I think as the week goes by I'm going to keep getting more stuff. So if that's true I'll keep doing videos on it. But one thing I want to touch bases on is in the update you're supposed to be able to live stream through Twitch. And right now with the current build of the uh, beta right now I don't think that I can live stream through Twitch as you can see if you've ever used the uh, Twitch app on the Xbox one it's still the same as it ever was there's no difference so I don't think that's gonna come in the beta it it might and if it does I'll actually live stream to Twitch through it and see how it is but I'm pretty sure that that's gonna come on the update day uh, not right now in the beta so um, I'm gonna show you your friends app now and the party system how it's different and kind of walk you through it but first we're going to go to the to the friends app real quick and show you how that's different so now your friends and the feed is all in into one little section so instead of you having to go you know select your friends online and all that stuff it's all in, in like one little page the feed is on to the right your friends and your offline friends are all in the middle and you can switch um, you know look between all and you can go to your favorites to go see who's online you can go to your followers and you can go to your recent players now that's something that wasn't in like on the Xbox one at launch but now it's here um, and I guess my Xbox one thought I said uh, TV stop listening um, whoops and um, so the recent players was something that was on the uh, the uh, 360 and it wasn't on the Xbox One at launch, but now it's here. So, unfortunately, I haven't went go play any multiplayer games. As you can see right now, I am installing the game Thief to my hard drive. So I haven't gotten like online since I've installed the update. Um, so I don't so look. I don't have any recent players on my list yet. Um, but if but if I did, then this is where they would be. Um, finding someone is actually easier now. So say if I wanted to find someone on my friends list, like I don't know. Um, my friend section up your town I'll just type in s3 his name and if I want to find anyone like in the s's I'll just type in s and it's here instead of going you know search through their uh, gamer tag um, I could just go and find it right here upon this little quick thing I, like I don't know what you want to call it but uh yeah so we're gonna go back to the all and actually show you something else that's pretty cool um, when you click on someone's name you have a list of uh, different options now so instead of just having it kind of small and it's like I really didn't feel like there was a bunch of options here now whenever you like go to someone's name you can hit send and not only will it have just message but it'll have all the things that you can send them so you'll have message party and game invite or just party invite or just game invite so I think it's pretty cool now that you can also not only just send a, a like a game invite um, you can choose whether or not you want to send a party and game invite or just game invite so that's pretty neat um, and you can go to friend you can add them to their favorites or, or you can remove them or you can report a block them <laughs> obviously I'm not going to report a block them uh, so that's a new thing and if they were in a game or a, 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 a party then all I would have to do is, is hit join let's go see if, if my other friend is still um, in this party real quick uh, let's go to all and then King I was just talking to him uh, yeah join so he's in a party right now but well look, we're, what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna start our own party and show you how that works now we're gonna go to party and now what happens when you join a party instead of actually having to turn on your your uh, party chat your uh, party chat is already on so like uh, you can immediately just begin talking so we're gonna invite King because I know that he's in the beta so that's one thing like if you don't want to get like in this beta just be aware 
um, that if you do join it, you can't be in a party chat with another person who does not have the uh, beta. So um, one thing I want to point out about the party system right here is, as you see how it shows me online, well, uh, what happens is, say if I was playing Titanfall, and me and King were playing Titanfall, but I had like uh, four other people who were who were like in the party, but uh, they weren't playing Titanfall. Where it says invited, that would like that would not say invited. Like it would say something like I don't know, um, uh, players in the party instead of people that was playing Titanfall. So like it'll separate the people who are actually playing Titanfall, so that like you'll know who's not playing it. So I mean that's pretty cool. Um, and uh, as you can see, as soon as I join the party, my party chat thing is already on. I can already start talking, but I don't have my, my mic in right now. Um, I just want to show you. But um, instead of having to turn on your 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 voice chat now, as soon as you join a party, it's it's already on. You can already just, just start talking. And as you see at the bottom, there's some symbols down there. And if you hit the start button, you can have some options. You can require to require invites. So now my party's locked. Now no one can join unless I send them a party invite, uh, and I can put it back to joinable if I wanted to. Um, but I'm gonna put it to require invites. Or you can turn off party chat, mute everyone, or, or you can mute your mic. So that's a thing now. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean I think that that's that's just about it right now. I mean that's uh. That that's pretty much all we we got right now in the um, in the beta, and I'm pretty sure that as the weeks go by, we're gonna get more stuff uh, coming to the beta. Um, I don't think that there's anything else different going on right now. Um, oh, uh, one thing I wanted to point out. It's something small, but it's it's uh, it's still a thing. If you go down to my profile and you look at your profile now you can choose to appear offline if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that, but uh, yeah, you can appear offline if you wanted to. Um, so, but that's about it. I don't, I don't think that there's anything else different in the system update. Everything is still the same other than that. Uh, the My Games and Apps section still looks the same, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm installing Thief right now. Uh, so, there's nothing else really different going on other than that. Um, so your friend's app has changed, the party system's changed, um, and that's about it. So if anything else changes while I'm in the beta in a future wave, because this thing is supposed to be like, if you know, in waves, and there's a forums I can go and get feedback on with like bugs and things like that. So I'm, I'm going to be doing that. But if anything changes, I'll do more videos on it to kind of let you know and kind of put you in on the loop. That way, whenever you actually get the update in March, you'll know what's up. You'll know what to do and how to handle it. But one thing I am looking forward to is the whole Twitch thing, how you can live stream from the app now. That's going to make live streaming a whole lot easier. And if that is, well, like once I actually do have it, I'm going to be live streaming from Twitch a lot more than what I do now because I don't like having to set up my capture card and everything to go live stream. So in March, you can expect a lot of live streaming from me. So uh, that's about it. Like, if you like the video, give a like rating. And if you want to stick around, subscribe. Later.